everyone, it's Pastor Kristen, and I am so glad that you are here joining me today for our children's Bible time. Today, we are going to read a story about some rules that we learn about, and they, these rules in the Bible are called the Ten Commandments. You may have heard of them before. And so, something to get you thinking, what kind of rules do you have at your house or at your school? I remember when I was younger at my house, we had a couple rules like going to bed at a certain time and we always had to brush our teeth before bed. And I remember at school, there, were, there was no running in the hallways. What other kind of rules can you think of? Maybe there are some rules that you don't like too much. Okay, so now I want you to imagine that you live in a world where none of these rules exist. So you can go to bed whenever you want. You don't have to brush your teeth at night. You can run in the hallway at school whenever you want. You, can, you don't have to follow any of these rules. What do you think that would look like? I think it might be kind of fun for a night, but then I was thinking, and if I could just go to bed whenever I wanted, I would probably be tired all the time. And if I didn't have the rule of brushing my teeth every night, my teeth would become rotten and they would fall out. And maybe if I was running in the hallway at school all the time, I would slip and fall and maybe break a bone and hurt myself. And so I think maybe that rules are there for a reason. So let's go ahead and read this story. If you have your Spark Bibles, we're going to turn to page 94. And if you don't, that's okay, because you can just follow along with me. The Ten Commandments. The Israelites were on their way to the land God had promised them. It was a long way. With God watching over them, the men, women, and children walked and walked and walked over the hot, dry land. When they got tired and needed rest, they would set up tents and camp together under the stars. While they were camping at the bottom of a mountain called Mount Sinai, something incredible happened. On the morning of the third day that they were there, a dark cloud covered the mountain. Crash, boom, bang, lightning and thunder filled the sky. The people were afraid. Suddenly the voice of God called Moses. God asked Moses to climb to the top of the mountain. So Moses grabbed his walking stick and climbed up and up and up. And when he got to the top of the mountain, God spoke. God said, Moses, listen up. I have important rules for you and the people to live by. You can turn to this list to know how to love God and each other. Do your best to follow this list. It won't be easy, but I am with you and I love you. Then God gave Moses a list of 10 special rules called the commandments. They were one, I am God, the only God. Honor me above all other things and people. There are no other gods for you, only me. My name is special. Don't use it with bad words or mean talk. Take a day of rest each week. Call it the Sabbath and make it a special day for God. Show your mom, your dad, or others who take care of you, love and respect. Don't hurt others with your words or actions. If you get married, you must be loyal to your husband or wife. Don't take things that aren't yours. Tell only the truth about your family, friends, and even those who you do not know. Be happy with what you have. Don't wish for things that other people have. 
And with that, the dark cloud went away. Moses walked down, down, down the mountain. The people were still scared from the dark clouds and thunder, but Moses said, do not be afraid. God has given us special rules to teach us how to live together in peace. Moses told the people about God's rules, and they did their best to follow them. So I think that we can all agree now that some of these rules that we have in our lives and that we read in the Ten Commandments, they're there to help us live the best lives that we can. They're there to protect us and to teach us how to love others and how to love God, how to live in peace with each other and with the world. So this week, remember to pay good attention to all of those rules. Have a good week, everyone, and I will see you next week.